फाले को पानी हो फाले को पानी हो ये तो सिस्टम छे जानी हो वर्षा पम को छाल वर्षा पम को छाल वर्षा पम वर्क्स विदाउट एनी फ्यूल और इलेक्ट्रिसिटी एंड यूज इज ओनली द काइंड एनर्जी ऑफ द रिवर टू पम्प वॉटर इन केस ऑफ नेपाल वेयर द रिवर इज फ्लोइंग डाउन स्ट्रीम below the land and the agricultural lands are located upwards it helps to lift water for farming and irrigation without any fuel or electricity and it's uh, in this particular case the pump is running here and the land is located at around 16 meters high and the pump is pumping around 40000 liters of water every day uh, to the farm currently people use various means such as a diesel pump which uh, is very polluting very expensive to operate and maintain in such situations they could instead use the bursa pump which does not use any fuel or electricity so you do not create any polluting uh, emissions as well as you do not require any operating costs which means farmers can save more than 70% of irrigation costs over its lifetime using hydropower to pump water has been done before in different other uh, working principles uh so for instance hydrams are the most common form of hydropowered uh, irrigation pump the difference is that in these uh, for instance in hydrams you need an input head which means the water needs to drop from a height to be able to use the pump in our case we use the kinetic energy of rivers or canals so it is floating in the river or a canal and you do not need any additional infrastructure to to place the pump so that uh, increases the applicability of the pump that's one and second for instance for hydrams they can pump much higher than our technology but uh, they pump a relatively lower amount of water so it's more suitable for drinking water uses but when it comes to irrigation then uh, our technology the because it pumps more water is more suitable uh, although it pumps to a lower height than hydrams So in terms of size we uh, we focus on small to medium sized farmers and in terms of uh, subsistence or commercial farmers we uh, focus on commercial farmers because they have the motivation to to reduce their cost to increase their productivity and they they understand the economics of costs and benefits of their crops it's more direct than in case of subsistence farmers where they are using it for themselves so the cost and benefits are not very clear but we would also like to reach out to people who are currently subsistence farmers but have the aspiration to become commercial farmers and uh, yeah provide one of the tools they require to transform into commercial farm right now so far there are 10 pumps that are implemented seven in nepal and three in indonesia and uh, in nepal uh, the total number of beneficiaries is around 329 In 2014 the Barsha pump was recognized and awarded by the Securing Water for Food program started in 2013 the Securing Water for Food program has been identifying rewarding and supporting innovations that will help produce more food with less water and make more water available for producing processing and distributing food the program a grand challenge is supported by the us dutch south african and swedish governments the program has provided funding and technical support to further develop the barsha pump and to develop a business plan to enter the market and achieve commercial viability the last year in nepal with the securing water for food program we demonstrated the technology in different areas to show people that it really works and you do not really need fuel and electricity and these are the benefits so that was the first step in the second step then we now try to sell the pump to organizational customers so to government to ngos to projects uh and uh in the third step then for instance in nepal now we are working towards having a local assembly facility where the pump can be assembled so uh, before this we shipped completely assembled units from netherlands and now we try to establish the assembly facility locally so that uh, it can be you can reduce on shipping costs and also you can create employment at the local level and uh, so the next step will be to establish distribution mechanisms and financial mechanisms to reach directly to farmers uh so that's that's in any country how we scale up in the three steps 
And apart from Nepal and Indonesia, we, uh, if you talk globally, we are also uh, planning to demonstrate the technology in other countries like Zambia and Turkey in the short term in the coming months. And also Ecuador and Spain, we have, uh, we are actively seeking opportunities. Uh, yeah.